Guys, do you want to know how I made my two decades of fitness journey safe and injury proof? Or do you want to know the secret formula which I use to keep my clients safe and free from the injuries even if they lift heavy? Get ready to revolutionize your approach towards fitness because today I'm going to share 10 powerful strategies which will safeguard your wellness path and you can achieve your fitness goal effectively. Today's 10 to 15 minutes video, we will dive a little bit deeper about the 10 strategies from proper warm up to smart workout selection to flexibility. Keep yourself safe and keep going in this game. Hi, this is Sanju Kaliwala, founder of Natural Lifestyle Hub, and I'm on a mission to help 100,000 corporate employees to achieve their fitness, their health, and their longevity by using all natural techniques. So, without any bass, let's do the video. <laughs> In this is the first point you have to remember that in this game the slow and steady wins the race so expecting too much too soon will never going to help you out and uh, which may lead to fix unrealistic expe expectations and uh, you may land up with uh, injuries which can lead to again discontinuity of your fitness journey so always try to start with in a slow and steady phase with basic workouts which will help you to get used to, to your fitness activity, keep you away from injuries and going to safeguard your fitness journey. Second point, always incorporate a proper warm-up and mobility drills in your activity to get ready for the workout. So before starting any activity, any workout plan, try to work on your posture. Try to check out whether you have any muscle imbalances or any tight muscles or any mobility issue. So if you find out any such kind of issue in your body, try to fix it out first by incorporating proper warm-ups and giving proper stretchings or by using proper mobility drills so that when you perform the activity, it can help you to prevent the injuries. Start with general warm-up by freeing your joints and after that mimicking the activity with light weights which will help to increase your blood flow or incorporating one or two minutes of running or high intensity activity before the workout which help to increase the blood flow to your muscles will make you ready to execute the workout plan. Third important point to remember is changing your focus from lifting weights to performing your body weight activities also. So always try to incorporate body weight uh, movements or calisthenic you can say like a push up, body weight push ups, body weight pull ups or squats before starting the activity. Focus more on your functional training or Try high intensity interval activities at least twice a week so that your joints get free and this is the thing I am doing in my fitness journey for a long time like not only focusing on lifting weight I even focus on doing my body weight activities. Just try to do high repetition in my body weight activities like pull ups, push ups and uh, squats to get my body ready for lifting the weight safely. Fourth important factor which I always incorporate in my training and I always make my clients to do is periodization and progressive overload. So when you include periodization in your training, help to work on your all muscle groups. Like uh, sometimes you will be doing high repetition, sometimes you will be doing heavy weights, sometimes you will be doing very heavy weights which will help to work on your three muscle groups. So for your kind information, we will be having three muscle groups. One is slow twitch, one is fast twitch and one will be very fast twitch which are located in our body. So by adding periodization, you will be hitting all these three muscle groups which will again help you to keep away from injuries and always try to go for progressive overload. So instead of uh, being, being hurry and lifting heavy all of a sudden and uh, getting yourself injured, try to use progressive overload technique in which after reaching some certain number of repetitions, you will be adding small amount of weight to progress the load. This, will, this thing will help you to increase the weight or reach your desired goal of lifting weight in slow and safe process. Fifth important point to be remembered is rest and recovery. So most of us will be always think like uh, hitting gym on regular basis without giving at least one day also recovery in a week is going to help you out in achieving your goal. But it's, it's not a, like a great approach to grow your muscles to see fat loss or to keep yourself safe from your injuries you need to give a proper rest to your body to recover. So giving rest means like taking 
one to two days off from the gym in a week or incorporating active rest like uh, doing some other activities apart from lifting weights like uh, swimming, running or incorporating yoga and having adequate sleep, keeping yourself away from stress. This all aspect, this all factors will combinedly helps you to make your journey safe, keep you away from your injuries. To keep yourself safe from your injuries, like I always say, incorporate your fitness activity with the rest and the proper nutrition. So sixth point is proper nutrition. So always try to balance your food. So when you do a workout, it may be lifting weights or incorporating high intensity cardio, your body will be going under catabolic state. So it needs a proper nutrition along with the rest to recover from the torture which you have given to your physique. So always incorporate a proper balanced nutrition along with appropriate protein, fats, carbohydrates to keep yourself away from the injuries. So seventh important point you have to remember is always try to invest in a good gear and uh, choose a gym facility which has highly branded equipments which are good in biomechanics and uh, which will perform in up to the mark because sometimes we will compromise on price and we will choose such kind of gyms which are having low quality gym equipments which are not having good biomechanics which will indirectly affect to your muscle imbalances and sometimes due to improper function of the machine may lead to internal injuries. So always try to invest in a such kind of gym or gear which has good name and which has good biomechanics. So eighth important point you have to keep in mind is focusing on your form and technique. So instead of only focusing on lifting weight or performing the activity or executing the workout, always try to execute the workout in a proper form and technique so that it can become the most effective and safe, give you the appropriate results which will help to reach your goal safely. Ninth factor, always try to listen to your body and be flexible. So instead of forcing your body to execute the activity, always try always see the comfortability of the workout how comfortable you are feeling while doing the workout and don't hesitate to modify the workout as per your comfort when you are performing a activity suppose if you are performing a bicep curls you are ordering your body to perform the activity your brain is sending the signal to the muscle to execute the activity so if you are taking heavy weights or if you are taking any position which is not even comfortable still your body will be performing the activity by using the wrong form so suppose if you are doing bicep curl and uh, if it is heavy instead of using your bicep muscle your body will use your shoulder also to execute the activity which we cannot say it's completely wrong but it can it may lead to injuries it may lead to some uh, muscle imbalances in long run you can face the complication of this kind of behavior so always try to modify the workout as per your comfort, listen to your body and uh, as I said you in the previous point, try to focus on your form and technique. Tenth factor, don't hesitate to take the help of any professional. After using the all above nine points, you are still in a confusion or if you are a beginner or if you have a more than six months of gap in your fitness journey and you are in a confused position to where to start or Instead of using your brain and injuring yourself, try to seek a help of professional trainer. Try to hire a personal trainer in initial stage to learn the techniques, to learn the form. So he can assess and if, then, if there are any muscle imbalances or any muscle tightness, he will help you out to fix those things first and uh, he will be there always to monitor your progress and uh, to check out your form to make the workout more interesting and uh, and keep on incorporating the periodization thing. so don't hesitate to seek the help of any professional to keep your journey safe and effective and keep you to keep yourself going for longer in this game so with the right knowledge you can make your journey injury proof and most rewarding and always remember Safety must be your first priority and it doesn't mean like again you have to compromise on the result. So try to incorporate these 10 strategies to make your journey more safer and to keep going a little longer in this game. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this. And till next time, stay safe, stay natural, stay healthy. Bye.